Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll discuss about working stress method and a numerical and it is from IS456 NXB page 80. Let us start with some assumption. The design is based on service load and another is the stress strain curve remains linear. We have a new term in this that is modular ratio M and M is equal to 2 by 180 divided by 3 sigma CBC. Here sigma CBC is nothing but compressive bearing capacity and it is a permissible value. And M is equal to ES by EC that is elasticity of steel provided to the elasticity of concrete used. ES is equal to MEC just interchanging also now let us define what is modular ratio it is provided to bring equivalence among composite material okay that is steel and concrete as we know the elasticity or the characteristic of steel and concrete are different so in working stress method the modular ratio is used to bring equivalence between the characteristics of steel and concrete numerically. For permissible stress, sigma CBC, this is for concrete. For steel, it will be like sigma ST, that is sigma steel. We have a formula for both of them. Sigma CBC is equal to FCK by FOS and for sigma ST, FY by FOS. FOS nothing but factor of safety and it different for concrete and steel. 3 for concrete and 1.78 for steel. FCK is the characteristic strength of concrete. FY is the yield strength of steel. Uh, as we know FCK compressive strength of concrete in 28 days. As we know the concrete gains most of its strength within the 28 days after the construction. Moment of resistance, this is the capacity of the section to resist the load, MOR. Consider a singly reinforced section, that is the reinforcement is provided in only tension region of the beam. Let me draw a section of a beam. So this is the reinforcement provided, okay, let us assume as a strip. This is AST, that is area of steel provided. This is the neutral axis. Considering this as the effective depth, let me draw the stress curve. This section, okay, this is the compression zone, this is the tension zone, this being the width of the section, and this being the effective depth. For concrete sigma CBC, this is the stress, compressive stress, and this is the tensile stress and this can be written at T and this is C opposite direction okay whole tension is taken by the steel AC is the area of compression zone AT area of tension zone and as we said for equivalence AC that is area of compression is equal to M into AST so here you can see it is provided in order to bring the equivalence between the compressive and tension characteristic in this section and similarly n is equal to depth of neutral axis then nc is equal to critical depth of neutral axis so this is nc the depth of neutral axis may be different i will discuss that in the type of beam section later on from similar triangle from the stress diagram principle of similar triangle this wing d minus nc obviously total depth d so subtracting the height of upper triangle now using the similar triangle sigma cbc by nc okay is equal to sigma st divided by b minus d minus nc this is simple mathematics sigma cbc okay and substituting here m for the equivalence nc divided by d minus nc is equal to m sigma cbc by sigma st So you will require this equation while solving numerical. Now 
but for actual depth of neutral axis okay as i said we will have different value for neutral axis one is actual depth of neutral axis and another is critical depth of neutral axis we know at neutral axis stress is zero that is there is no any stress neither compression neither tension so that is compression minus tension is equal to zero hence at this section compression and tension will be equal now for the compression force zone okay that is a rectangular portion c is equal to so just representing c this is not force okay so we have a rectangular portion for the rectangular portion the area will be b into depth that is n into centroidal distance we are transforming the area okay so this is the centroidal distance which is n by 2 and for the tension zone okay only the area of steel is uh, there to resist that moment to resist the tension force so ast into the centroidal distance that is d minus n that is a single layer so that is we have c is equal to t now just replacing the value b into n square by 2 ast into d minus n and for equivalence we multiply with modular ratio m so this is an expression which will be required in the numerical part now for critical depth of neutral axis okay as i said there will be actual depth and then critical depth so for nc that is critical depth is equal to n1 or we can say n dash into d where n dash is the value computed from m using m by m plus r m is equal to modular ratio and and r is a ratio obtained by sigma st by sigma cvc for moment of resistance that is the maximum bending moment a beam can resist or a section can resist mor is equal to c into z and for tension t into z c and t are compression and tension force and z being the lever arm distance so this is the lever arm for a triangular portion the central distance from the base is taken as 1 by 3 times the depth and here we have n so n by 3 therefore z is equal to d minus n by 3 now moment of resistance considering the compressive stress or compression zone sigma cvc plus zero divided by two for a triangular portion we are taking the average into b into n into lever arm that is d minus n by three and for tension zone moment of resistance can be calculated as t that is the tension force and for a tension zone we consider a strip only so sigma st that is the tension stress into area of steel provided into lever arm distance that is d minus n by 3 for moment of resistance at compression mor is equal to b into and just i'm arranging the term here into sigma cbc by 2 d minus n by 3 b into n into sigma cbc by 2 d minus n i just convert here n dash into d by 3 b into n into sigma cbc by 2 d taking as common 1 minus n dash by 3 now replacing 1 minus n dash by 3 as j which is a lever arm coefficient final equation will be b into n into sigma cbc by 2 into d into j we get 1 by 2 sigma cbc now i can replace n with respect to n dash into d so i get d square into n dash sigma uh, b into j now uh, 1 by 2 sigma cbc into n dash into j into bd square okay again 
replacing this term as q and finally q into bd square where q is equal to 1 by 2 into n dash sigma cvc into z so this is the numerical portion now let's move for the other theoretical portion that is type of beam section depending upon depth of neutral axis that is critical depth and actual depth three cases of section that is beam section arises the very first being balanced beam section similarly we have under reinforced beam section and finally over reinforced section now let me draw a section of beam these are the still provided at the tension zone this is the depth of neutral axis and let us draw the stress diagram compression zone finally this is the tension zone and this being nc that is critical depth of neutral axis if nc is equal to n that is depth of critical neutral axis is equal to actual depth then it is a balanced section okay sigma st and this is c is equal to sigma cvc now for under reinforced section if nc is greater than n that is the depth of critical neutral axis being greater than the actual depth so this being n and the other being nc as you know this will be termed as an under reinforced section c is greater than sigma cvc and sigma st is equal to tension okay just write sigma st by m because we are converting into equivalence form and for the over reinforced section if nc is less than n it is an over reinforced section that is the critical depth of neutral axis is less than the depth of actual neutral axis in under reinforced section failure occurs at reinforcement first and for over reinforced section concrete fails and which is much more dangerous as there is no prior warning to the failure of the section and in case of balanced section failure occurs simultaneously in case of under reinforced section the critical depth of neutral axis being greater than that of the actual depth of neutral axis maximum stress in steel reaches before than that of concrete and in the case of over reinforced section the critical depth of neutral axis being less than that of the actual depth the maximum stress in concrete before than that of the steel for balanced section mor can be computed with respect to both that is moment of resistance considering compression or moment of resistance considering the tension either of this formula but for under reinforced section still stressed first so mor is computed with respect to moment of resistance considering tension and likewise for over reinforced section still stressed later that is concrete fails first hence morc that is moment of resistance considering compression however value of depth of neutral axis should be taken as actual depth of neutral axis n okay in this case we have to consider the actual depth of neutral axis not the critical depth of neutral axis